Hey, welcome. I'm going to wait until some peeps jump on. This is always my mirror opportunity, like literally the first time I've looked in the mirror for the day. Does that tell you much? Inviting some peeps, except I don't want to do that. Last time I invited peeps, it told them every time someone responded to my messages. All right, so we're going to talk about depression. What to do and what not to do when you are feeling down or depressed. So welcome, say hi when you're on. All right, so here's the deal. I have experience in this subject matter and I also have experience of being in joy and fun and excitement. So if you've ever been depressed or down, I want you to put a one in the comments. If you're watching this on the replay, push replay and let's talk. Let's talk about depression. Okay, so what you should not do, I'm literally talking to myself right now, so I'm going to go find some people. Just one second. All right. Okay, so here's what not to do, okay, when you're feeling depressed and down. Say hi if you jumped on so I know that I'm talking to someone. You should not stay in bed all day. That's one thing you should not do if you're feeling depressed. You should not dress frumpy. Um, you should definitely not put on a tight-ass t-shirt and like jello roll every and accentuate every single roll you have on your stomach you should definitely not do that if you're depressed um so i'm talking about your fupa your fat upper pelvic area it is like cinched down and looks like the towel rack up at bed and bed bath and beyond you know the thing they have up there and it looks like there's 40 towels little note it's not 40 towels. It's actually a board that they do that. You do not want to do that to your... Welcome, guys. You do not want to do that to your stomach. So do not put on a tight-ass t-shirt when you're feeling depressed and frumpy. Don't come on a live with no makeup. Or looking like me and not have brushed your hair or your teeth. Can you smell my breath? Okay. So don't do that. Um... Doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting different results. That literally means you're crazy. Did you know that's the definition of crazy? So these are all the things you don't want to do if you're feeling depressed. So put a one in the um, comments. Hey, Melody, if you have felt depressed before and down. Put makeup on so that when you're doing a live that you don't have snake eyes. That's what we call this. So when you have no makeup on, you literally look like a snake because snakes don't have um, eyelids. And so you definitely want to not look like a snake or act like a snake, really, for that matter. Um, you definitely want to go get your hair done. You do not want to grow out your roots for five inches showing your gray, okay? That is one way to not stay depressed. Go get your freaking hair done. And I promise you, it's worth it. It's so worth it. I love my hairdresser. Shower and shave. <laughs> These are all tips you need to know if you want to get out of depression. Don't go hang out and call negative friends. Hey, Stacy, just wanted to talk to you about life. Yeah, well, I hate everyone. I hate my husband. I hate life. I'm not blah, 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 blah. And it goes on and on and on, right? So you definitely do not want to hang out with negative friends, okay? If that's all you have, then you get to create great friends. And you know how you create a great friend? Is be a great friend. So you have to up your standards 
I upped my standards, so you gotta up yours. Just saying. Sad music and movies. Now, every woman knows if you want to stay depressed, you should definitely do a sad movie marathon. Hey, Des! A sad movie marathon. That is definitely going to keep you in a state of depression. So you can just cry yourself to sleep on your huge pillow. It's not a good move. Eat crappy. Like, go to haagen Isle in the Walmart and order or put five gallons of ice cream in your cart. Like, that's going to definitely keep you in a state of depression. And if you know anything about sugar, sugar absolutely gives you a little bit of a high, but the down and the, the backlash on sugar is horrible. Worry. You should definitely worry a ton if you want to stay in depression. Worry, fret, make up stories in your head. What else can you do? talk negatively, act negatively, be a crappy friend. These are all things that will help you downward spiral effectively so that you can stay in that deep abyss and black pit of life. The last one, there's many, many more, but I want to get to the do's. I want to get to the positive side of this. Crack and heroin. You should definitely do crack and heroin if you want to stay in a place of non-thriving and giving up on life and depression. Now, I'm not making light of people that need to be on depression medication. So my first to do is if you've tried to shift a bunch of things and you feel like it is more of a um, brain thing going on or a medical shift in your body, then go talk to a naturopathic doctor and go talk to a doctor who can prescribe you or support you with things that will help you get out of depression. You should definitely go get your mullet fixed. Like if your hair looks like a mullet, like I have, just so you're all clear, I have a hair appointment with my girl because I have to do I'm choosing into a 14 day competition and I am not gonna look at my hair like this for 14 days. So you're welcome too, so you don't have to look at it either. Funny movies, gotta do funny movies. Go look up Honey Badger on YouTube. That is a must see. Now, it probably has some cuss words, but it is freaking funny. So, put on Facebook, I need to watch funny videos. What's the funniest YouTube video you've seen? Have people put the links in your comment section. I would love for you to put the funniest YouTube you've seen in this video so that when people watch it 10 years from now, because that's what the internet's about, right? Your material is out there forever, is what is your favorite thing to do when you are down? Down and out. Dance. Just gonna put it out there. Say hi if you're on. Why don't you put on some music? You should have your upbeat music. It's very accessible now. You don't have to go get a CD that you recorded from the 70s. You can literally type in anything you want into YouTube. You could probably get six hours of dance music if you type that in. And I want you to get every family member out in the living room and put on a song and just say, hey, we're going to dance to three songs and then we're going to move on. That was a crap day and let's move it out of crap. Okay? Send gratitude notes. This is one of my main ones. I love sending gratitude notes. So you there are a million people you could thank for something in your life. So if you're feeling down, then go send 10 gratitude notes on Facebook. You'll probably brighten the, the life out of people. I've had people say, that was huge. Like, you have no idea how huge. You're right, I don't have any idea how huge it was. And guess how much it was for me, too, because I can only see in others what I have in myself. If I believe that is a beautiful, rockin', powerful woman then that must be who I am too. Hmm. 
So sending gratitude notes is one of my top suggestions. Quality time, uh, quiet time actually. Quality time, for me, it's God. It's for me sitting down with, I have four of the best devotionals. I read all four, I journal, and I set up my day. And recently, I have been putting my phone far away from my bed, and I am not able to look at my phone, which you know is an addiction for all of us, possibly. I don't want to speak for everyone. And I don't go look at my phone until I do quality time with God. It's huge. Now I'm all set up, and then I write out my day, sometimes the night before. And I circle the one thing. The one thing I have to get done today in order to feel like I've rocked out the day. Circle that item. Do it. As soon as it's done, you'll really have the energy to start flowing with everything else. Um, reach out to people. Some people have no clue that you're in a downward spiral because you just posted yesterday your excited video of your life and now you're missing for three days and they have no clue that you're about to snort some crack, okay? I don't really know how you do crack. Do you burn it on a spoon? I don't get it. That's that heroin? Anyway, put in the comments if you know how to do those. Um, so don't assume people know where you're at just because you're not on Facebook. I have friends like Destiny I haven't seen her post for probably three months, and then all of a sudden I see her post again. Do not rely on Facebook and the al algorithms to tell you when someone's not doing well. Go check up on your peeps. Exercise. That's massive, you guys. When I'm depressed, I do not go exercise. When I want to stay in a downward spiral, I like to put on a tight, frumpy shirt, not put makeup on, look like snake eyes and walk around the world with my four inch growth of gray. And we call it frumple stilt skin in my house. Frumpalicious, frumpy dump. Put all your frump comments in the bottom. Like, I'd like to hear those. Those are hilarious. Um, I'm trying, to, we have so many frumpy comments. I love it. So put them in the bottom. Eat well. If you are not good at eating well, are you open to another way? Are you open to adding one thing to your life that could shift your whole life? I have found the one thing for me. If you want to know more about it, I want you to message me, Facebook message me and say, I want to know what your one thing is that helps you get through the day as far as health, okay? Um, those are my to-dos for the day, and I hope you enjoyed the lightness and the humor of it. Depression's no joke, man, and you gotta pull your own head out of your rib cage that's all the way up there. It's all the way up there from the inside, and you gotta pull your head out, or you gotta get help so that you can pull your head out. Now, I know grieving. I know grieving. So give yourself grace. Give yourself grace. Ask for help. Start to choose to eat well. If you don't have the energy to choose to eat well, then get with someone like me who has a product that can at least rock your world in some area of your health so that you can function at a higher level. So I'd love to hear your comments this is my day two of my 14 day challenge and I am going for the gold today. I, my ultimate goal by the end of the month is platinum, but I really am going to hit gold today. So what does that mean? That means I have giveaways and my giveaways are huge and awesome and I'd love for you to be a part of them. So what is, what is the ask? I am asking you if you have any um, desire to support dreams and goals, I would love to have you as a customer. All you need to do is sign up for a free account. You get $10 coupon. I send you the link and you go shopping.
Hey! So that's how easy it is to support um, one of the things I'm doing. Uh, there's tons of products. All toxin-free, all clean living, health, home, cleaning supplies, skin, hair. It's awesome. So I'm also giving away my book. I have, I think, about 10 in my car. I've been snowed in for three days, so I don't know how many I have. But I will send you a signed copy of my book when you send me, you get three choices, okay? You send me a picture of your order, and then you say, I want a book, or I want a frother, because if you get the coffee set, you gotta have the frother. You gotta have this frother. Um, so when there are 10, so you can ask for the book or the frother, or you can ask for or suggest what I do on a live in the future. Could be the 14 days, could be the future. So that is pretty exciting to be able to ask what you want me to do on a live. Now, it can't be, um, it can't ruin my, my core values. <laughs> it, it cannot go against um, my personal core values. And if you know me very well, you know I'm a pretty out there humor person. So I can take quite a bit. Um, so put I'm in and then go personal message me and tell me what you're in for, what you want. If you want the notes and ideas on how to have an amazing day and get out of depression, I would give, I'll give you those notes to you. No problem. Just message me. Um, I need you to show me today's date. Okay. Today's date is important because I have people messaging me from yesterday showing me their order they made three days ago. Well, this is for today and beyond. So there's plenty of stuff to order in my back office to, to be a part of this, to get a free frother and to get a book. So tell me what you're going for. Tell me you're in in the comment section and let's get this bad boy going. So um, I'd love for you to hit replay and watch it from the beginning if you came in halfway and to have an amazing day. Bye.